A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 4th December. On the front page you have GST revenue is not enough for states compensation center. So center has written to all states voicing concern that due to lower GST collection the compensation size might compensation says might not be enough to pay for losses arising of the tax system. So what was uh, what was uh, promised when GST was introduced was that states would be compensated for any losses and for that compensation cess was initiated. Now such uh, assurances have been given earlier too because GST goods and services tax is subsuming central as well as state tax. So states when they are giving up the right to collect tax uh, in the sense they are allowing the center to implement the GST what they expected was if any losses which they occur which occur based on previous collections. So then the, gov the central government would compensate them to that extent. So this has been assured, but now central government has written to states saying that collections are falling and uh, it's not enough for compensation. And here you can see the collection shown, gross GST collection and its growth. The growth had dipped here, you can see it's picking up again. Then this is citizenship bill likely next week. So BJP has cracked the whip in the sense that BJP MPs have been warned against absenteeism of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh at the parliamentary party meet. And he said that presence of MPs was to be strictly ensured as the government would be tabling citizenship amendment bill next week. And bill is expected to be cleared by the cabinet now. After which it will be introduced in the Lok Sabha. So here you can see. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is presently in Jharkhand campaigning for the Legislative Assembly elections there. The elections are scheduled in Jharkhand now. And here you have, you should know about the Citizenship Amendment Bill too. It seeks to grant citizenship to non-Muslim refugees from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan if they face religious persecution there. And here you have Eleven men held for thrashing OBC groom in Madhya Pradesh. So, police have arrested eleven Rajput men on charge of thrashing a groom from the OBC community during his wedding procession. Now, this is voting request will now be met in days. So, try Telecom Regulatory Authority of India has said that mobile phone users will now be able to switch their telecom service providers while retaining their number in a maximum of five days. So. This will be implemented from December 16 onwards. So, new regulations on number portability would come into effect. So, it will be quickened. So number portability is already allowed, but it will be quickened now. Then, this is Chennai Skywatcher first to spot debris from Chandrayaan 2 lander, says NASA. So, in the first authentic information from any source on fate of Indian lunar lander Vikram, NASA has released the latest images of lunar surface that point to the fact that the lander broke into many pieces after crash landing on September 7. So, images have been taken which show uh, Vikram's debris. It has been shown across the at, le at least 70 feet, 750 meter of crash site. Then here you have fifty one left India defrauding over seventeen thousand nine hundred crores. So CBI is processing extradition requests. Uh, it has informed the finance ministry that are the fifty one absconders and proclaimed offenders in 66 cases who face allegations of fraud involving 17,900 crore rupees and they have left for other countries. So this was uh, information submitted in the Rajya Sabha. Questions were raised on this issue. So Interpol has been issued, uh, red, has issued red notices, red notices on the Enforcement Directorate's request for extradition of 8 individuals. So, on page 3 you have CAG report pulls up government bodies, finds 1,701.14 crore losses in 500 cases. So CAG, Comptroller and Auditor General of India, has tabled its report in the as the, its report has been tabled in the Delhi Assembly. The CAG submits its report to the government. The government tables it in the legislative body. So CAG audits reports not just for audits the accounts, not just for 
central government but also for states so it has submitted its report here on delhi and it has been submitted it has been placed by the government in the delhi assembly and it has been criticized by different government it has criticized different government bodies for their lapses and laxities so like it, for delhi transport corporation it says it incurred loss of 3843 crore rupees so this is you know a border on the exchequer the laxity or irregularities which is government departments show. there are various examples given you can see this is dimti dmits that is uh, contractor and uh, delhi transport infrastructure development corporation limited so it, uh, it it failed to provide work you know work fronts timely and upgradation work of kashmir gate could not be completed even after more than 8 years of stipulated completion date so this resulted in raising of claims by contractors so, so this is all a loss which is incurred on the state such lapses have been highlighted by cad so it's basically the lapses and laxity of government bodies but the chief minister has clarified cag is the most admired auditing agency in india and in the last 70 years it has unearthed many scams but in this case there are there is harsh scrutiny but there are no scams involved or anything wrong which delhi government has done so this is what the delhi chief minister arvind kej bhai said but laxity in government authorities is an issue on page 4 you have india test swedish technology to reduce double burning so foreign firm from sweden has launched its first pilot project plant in punjab so here you can see what this uh, pilot project is it's a swedish technology it involves heating up straw grass sawmill residue and wood biomass to 250 degrees celsius to 350 degrees celsius so this changes the elements in the biomass into coal like pellets and these pellets can be used for combustion along with coal for industrial applications like steel and cement production so they have set up their plant here so, so this is called uh, torrefaction of coal so the, uh, of stubble so this can convert rice stubble into bio coal on page 6 you have center mulling new ias ips cadre for mizoram so this is what the uh, union minister for development of northeastern region has stated so he said that he had directed the department of personnel and training to undertake an exercise to study the implications and feasibility of creating a separate cadre uh, for all india services officers for mizoram so this demand had come from mizoram chief minister and center is considering it now so they are presently in part of the agmet cadre which comprises of arunachal pradesh goa mizoram and union territories so it uh, mizoram wants a separate cadre for itself does not want to be part of agmi so it says that here that there uh, there are large number of tribal population and if uh, officers come and stay there for some time and then uh, go to some other union territory some other region some other state like arunachal pradesh or some other union territory then they uh, you know lose the contact and uh, this is not conducive for the state so they wanted a separate cadre for themselves also jammu and kashmir is a separate cadre but now since jammu and kashmir has been divided into two union territories the minister says that now even for jammu and kashmir and ladakh the the they will be part of agmet cadre so there will be no separate dedicated cadre for jammu and kashmir to them on page 9 you have searching for vikram pixel by pixel so this is the news on the front page so it is now the isro searching for vikram the lander a part of chandrayaan 2 which crash landed on luna surface so it took shan it is said 30 hours to spot the lander's debris so this this is shan that is shanmuga subramaniam the 33 year old techie from chennai who uh, found the luna debris uh, the vikram debris on lunar surface and then here you have isro has not commented on uh, us space agency nasa's uh, information uh, and pictures which it has provided about india's moon lander vikram that disappeared from the radar tracking screen so pictures of debris at the crash site and of the lander itself 
you know puts paid claims in some quarters that Vikram had landed bodily intact and in a tilted manner, but rather it crash landed. So this is now been proved. And here you have ISRO takes possession of PSLV debris. So the casing of a spent strap-on motor of ISRO, uh, ISRO satellite launch vehicle PSLV has was caught by fishermen in their net, and uh, now ISRO has taken charge of this debris. Editorial page. The first editorial is national shame. So this is regarding how gender sensitization and wider societal changes are needed to end sex crimes in the country. So the Hyderabad veterinarian case has also caused national uproar. And below you have waiting for change. So this is regarding BCCI. So it says how BCCI is subtly pushing for a rollback of its reworked constitution is evident. So it has approached the Supreme Court again under the presidentship of Saurabh Ganguly to reconsider the reforms or changes which had been proposed under Supreme Court supervision. Then this is one state push for Israel and Palestine. So this talks of uh, you know, Israel-Palestinian issue. So it is said that any future solution must be one that rectifies past evils and offers democracy to all Palestinians. So this is regarding Israel-Palestine issue. And this is headwinds after a head hardline approach. So Xi Jinping and the Communist Party is facing various pressures now. And uh, you know, so like the Hong Kong crisis is one major issue which they face. And the Uyghurs issue in Xinjiang province. So these are some protests which they are being faced, you know, which are disturbing the internal peace. So hardline approach of Xi Jinping has now finally you know, resulted in these problems or issues arising which which we wait and see how the Chinese government tackles. Then on the opit page you have your structural policies needed for 7 plus percent growth. So if you want, if India wants more than 7 percent GDP growth then we need to have structural reforms and uh, the, the slowdown it is said is an outcome of supply side constraints so demand is subdued it is said here supply side constraints are also there and here you can see this is regarding transgender persons bill so transgender persons bill does not distinguish between transgender and intersex person so this says setting the clock back on intersex human rights so, Transgender Persons Bill has continued to trigger protests across the country because it does not address the concerns of LGBTQ community, that is lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer. So, each one has to be distinctly identified, but the bill talks uh, of only one aspect, transgenders. So, and this is the entire detail given of how the Madurai bench of Madras High Court delivered historic judgment which marks the beginning of uh, you know, normative journey of intersex human rights in India. So, so it, it took up the issue of validity of consent given on behalf of intersex infants for undergoing sex selective surgeries. And it said that consent of parents cannot be considered as consent of the child. So it had prohibited such uh, sex selection surgeries. Consent is required. So, Tamil Nadu has banned sex reassignment surgeries on intersex infants and children. The transgender bill also deals with issues related to human rights protection of intersex persons. So, uh, it also has to exam be examined in the light of development uh, in the intersex human rights uh, as such so far. That is the concern here with respect to the bill provisions. And then here you have a critique of China, not Pakistan. So this is regarding the China-Pakistan economic corridor, the speech given by Alice Wells in USA about this. So it is uh, targeting China, not Pakistan is what this article speaks of. Then 
on page 12 you have SPG Act Amendment Bill gets Parliament not. So this is regarding Special Protection Group Act of 1988 which has been proposed to be amended. So now the SPG cover will be for the Prime Minister and former Prime Ministers for a period of 5 years after leaving office. So this bill has been passed by Rajya Sabha also by voice vote. So Congress staged a walkout accusing the government of targeting the Gandhis. So their SPG cover has been, special protection group cover has been withdrawn recently, we had seen in news and now this amendment bill has also been passed. On page 13 you have Swedish royals seek climate awareness. So this is King Carl 16 Gustav and Queen Sylvia. So they ask farmers to convert farm waste into profitable business and also Queen asked end to sexual violence too. So they speak, spoke on these issues. We have seen this on front page also, on earlier news also, in inside pages, regarding Swedish technology for stubble burning. And this is 19 civilians killed in valleys since August 5, says Minister. So, 19 civilians, including non-Kashmiris, were killed in various terror-related incidents in Kashmir Valley since August 5, when special status of German Kashmir and Article 370 has been revoked. So, this information has been provided by Minister of State for him. And this is DRDO to develop naval fighter jet. So, the Defense Research and Development Organization has offered to develop a new twin engine deck based fighter aircraft for the Navy based on the experience of the naval light combat aircraft and it should be ready by 2026 is what it says. On international page you have US threatens 100% tariff on French goods. So US, this announcement came after US trade representative concluded that France's digital services tax harms technology firms from USA. So USA is threatening tariffs on French goods now. And here you have Putin signs bill targeting journalists and bloggers. So, Russian President Vladimir Putin has signed a bill into law that gives the government the right to register bloggers, journalists and social media users as foreign agents. In On business page you have, in November outreach, public sector banks lend 2.39 lakh crores. So, corporates have got a lion's share of this uh, loan, uh, the lending which has been undertaken by public sector banks. It is 97,366 uh, 97, crores which has been provided to the corporate sector. So, this is the loan dispersal during October and November 2019 to boost the economy. And this is uh, 80,839 crore loans written off by banks in first half of financial year 2020. So borrowers continue to be liable for payment but uh, loans are written off. So you should know what is writing off of loans. Basically banks have to have to have the account set in which uh, they show how much they are expecting to uh, recover and you know, what is their liability and what uh, what they, they are, what are their profits. So that on that aspect these uh, this amount banks are not uh, expecting would be would be they would be paid back these are like bad loans so the banks have to make provision for them in some other way because this money is not going to come back so that is called so they write off the loans so that is called written off does not mean that the borrower does not have to pay back they are still liable for repayment but banks have uh, you know settled their accounts in that manner so this is and this is telecom service providers want flow price for mobile data service so a real and sustainable remedy for telecom sector reeling under financial crisis they say is uh, having flow price for mobile data services so recently we saw telecom companies also raised the tariffs and now this is another demand which has been made with try so that is it these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asha.com. Thank you.